The circade reduction kit leg consists of foot, lower leg, knee and upper leg. The garment consists of two components. The printed numbers represent the thigh circumference G and the thigh circumference E2. Detach the bottommost band to view all of the number markings. If the patient's measurements exceed the printed values, use the circade reduction kit extension. Align the extension on the markings at 70 or 80 centimeters and attach the hook fasteners. The thigh circumference E2 is defined with a seam on the lower numbers, the thigh measurement G on the upper numbers. Adjust the center spine to create a slight curve. The position of the spine can be adjusted individually for each leg shape. Unusual limb shapes may cause small creases, but these will not affect the compression. In case of large differences between both circumferences, the small component might not reach both edges of the large component. In this case, center the component. You can fix the small component additionally with the white hook fasteners provided. Alternatively, mark the position to quickly restore it in case of accidental detachment. Cut off excess material leaving approximately 5 cm of overlap. Excess material can be cut off. Label the garment for the right or left leg accordingly. As soon as the leg has decreased significantly in circumference, trim the garment to the new measurements and remove the excess material. For an optimum fit, the product length can be trimmed by 3 cm. Make sure that there are no wrinkles in the undersleeve. Align the garment just below the groin and attach the top two bands loosely to hold the garment in place. The upper leg garment should overlap with the knee component. Attach the bottom most band with firm and comfortable tension. Attach the bands alternately from bottom to top so that the garment lays flat and wrinkle free. Slightly pull the upper band upwards to avoid wrinkles. Hold the top of the garment while attaching the last band. If there are gaps or creases, simply readjust the bands. The bands should be tightened with firm and comfortable tension. Use the provided card to identify the applied compression level. The distance between the lines on the band is equal to the compression pressure on the scale of the card. Write down the tension setting of each band to allow your patient to reapply the settings later. The bands should be tightened with firm and comfortable tension within the tolerance level of the patient. For an effective therapy, you or your patient should readjust the compression throughout the day. Lastly, fold the undersleeve over the top of the garment. Roll back the bands to keep the hook fasteners lint-free. Make sure not to detach any of the spine tabs 